our environment so in this chapter our environment we are going to discuss about the various issues that are connected to the environment so we know different things about our environment most importantly we notice that there are so many changes happening in the environment so which are affecting our life we learn about all this in the news newspapers we learn that there are some changes in the environment which are affecting the life of people which are affecting the life of other organisms other animals the diversity is affected so what is environment it is a combination of various things environment is nothing but your surroundings which is made up of different things different components your environment consists of physical components your environment consists of biological components biotic components so all these components are interacting with each other and they have a natural setup natural cycles called as biogeo cycles by which the materials present in one form or one component is transferred to another component again it will reach back to the original component in this way the minerals are exchanged the chemicals are exchanged between the earth and the surroundings so this is all happens naturally so naturally there will be some changes in the environment and naturally the changes or the cycling of materials takes place in a natural process but that is by the human intervention that is by the aggressive human activities towards the process of development we are doing so many activities which are disturbing these cycles what are they bio geo cycles so what it causes this disturbance it causes mainly one thing in the environment that is pollution pollution means the natural state of a component is disturbed the natural composition of air is disturbed we are adding so many useless poisonous gases into the air air pollution that means we are disturbing the natural percentages natural composition natural balance of that particular component what is that component air we are doing it by various activities burning a lot of fossil fuels in the vehicles running so many factories to produce the goods by all these ways we are generating a lot of poisonous gases or waste gases into the air we are releasing all these gases into the air so the air is said to be polluted when it is said to be polluted when the unwanted substances are present in it then the normal levels which it is having you can call it as it is polluted so this kind of pollution disturbance to the environment is being created so it affects the life of people it affects the crops it affects the animals it affects the human beings health everything is affected by this and it leads to so many major problems the pollution leads to global warming global warming leads to increase in temperatures it leads to melting of ice caps depletion of ozone high radiation crop shifting so many kind of consequences are linked up to this changes in the environment but as i told you there are some changes in the environment which are naturally run by these biogeo cycles but these cycles are disturbed by our intervention now we are going to see how the human intervention how the human activities are influencing the environment and what are its consequences now let us see the first one the human activity that disturbs the environment the major human activity is that adding waste to the environment what is the waste 
what does what does it mean waste is something which is useless purposeless which is thrown into the environment which is naturally not a part of the environment if it is a natural material it can mix it in the environment so we are throwing a lot of waste every day you can check what kind of waste you are throwing in the garbage truck that comes to your house every day to collect the garbage your mother or you may be carrying the garbage bin or the person may come, may come the municipality or corporation person may come he may take the garbage bin and dump it in the garbage truck so if you observe the garbage what kind of things you find in them you find in that fruit or vegetable peels peels and you may find packing material and leftover food and other materials other waste so if you see what kind of waste you are throwing in the garbage bin you may find some fruit peels you may find some package material you may find some food and other materials you may find some paper or cloth but do you think that all these materials they take part in the bio geo cycles do you think that all these materials they mix up with the environment without any problem no so the environment may take up certain materials without any problem means the environment consists of certain cycles bio geo cycles bio geo chemical cycles in which certain materials they mix up in the environment they may be easily mixed up with the soil they may be easily mixed up with the air but sometimes in some cases certain materials cannot mix up in the environment even though they mix up with the environment they mix with the soil or they mix with the air they may cause some problems see for example the packing material most of the packing material is comprised of plastic we see that we carry many of the things in plastic covers many of the items are wrapped in plastic covering so plastic is an avoidable material today that is either for packing even to carry the food items also the plastic is being used so if you wanted to carry some curry or curd or milk everything is packed in plastic even whatever the wrappers you eat chips you eat biscuits you eat chocolates you eat everything is wrapped in plastic so all this plastic waste the packaging material is thrown into the garbage bin that is thrown into the environment so what happens to that environment is not having the mechanisms to digest each and everything just like you so you are there we are the humans if we are given an apple yes we can eat the apple we can digest it we can get energy out of the apple how because we can digest it for digestion what do we have enzymes and we have some bio chemical cycles in our body we have some biochemical cycles so the biochemical cycles with the help of these enzymes they break down the apple into energy so if you take apple banana fruits vegetables rice grains pulses all these things definitely you get energy all these things are converted to energy with the help of enzymes or they are present in your body but if you are given a bit of wood if you are given a bit of coal if you are given a bit of stone to eat can you get energy will your body digest this stone or a small piece of coal or a small piece of wood definitely not your body cannot digest stone wood or coal such materials if you eat a metal can can you digest no because you don't have enzymes to digest that material in your body here you may notice one more thing if a cockroach it has eaten a small bit of paper it can digest it has got the enzymes to digest that paper or leather but you don't have in this in such a way the environment is not having 
the facility it is not having the cycles bio geo chemical cycles to digest everything to decompose everything to degrade everything so degradation is not possible for every material in the environment such cases what happens they remain in the environment and cause problems sometimes if they are even degraded so the degraded form is also not good for the people even though the materials are degraded they get accumulated in the environment that means they cannot change from one form to another form easily for example they are accumulated in the soil see for example any natural thing a plant or an animal died so the dead animal it decomposes in the soil the minerals present in the animal are reaching the soil so once they reach the soil again from the soil they reach to the air they reach to the plants so in this way they are circulated but certain substances even though they are degraded even though they are reached to soil they cannot enter the air they cannot enter the other organisms they get accumulated in a particular place which leads to pollution so this is what happens when the waste is added to the environment then all the waste is not degraded some waste is degraded of course if it is degraded it may not be able to circulate among the different components of the environment so it get it get accumulated and causes pollution so now let us see what is an ecosystem you have already studied about ecosystem ecosystem is comprised of biotic and abiotic components so what is ecosystem it is a part of the environment ecosystem is a self sustainable unit in which an organism can live completely throughout its life whereas all the biotic and abiotic components of an ecosystem they interact with each other and they maintain a balance so if you see such an ecosystem you find two things biotic factors and abiotic components biotic components and abiotic components we can call these abiotic components as physical components also so what are these physical or abiotic it includes temperature rainfall wind humidity soil minerals these are the abiotic components what are the biotic components plants animals and microorganisms you see any micro any ecosystem it consists of plants animals and microorganisms so they interact with each other if you see an ecosystem the biotic components they interact with each other and they even interact with the abiotic components so there is a lot of interaction and they affect each other for example a plant a plant is there a plant has to grow for the growth of the plant energy is required that is supplied by the sun temperature sunlight light is also a physical component so this abiotic factor that is the sunlight is affecting the growth of the plant rain is important for the growth of plants so rain is the another physical component that is influencing the growth of plants so in this way they are interrelated they are affected by each other so this is on basing what this ecosystem it survives that is an ecosystem if you find an ecosystem in that ecosystem we will see the interactions between the biotic and abiotic components but here we already discussed that if something additional which is not a part of that particular environment is added to that it leads to pollution if something is brought between this by human activities the interactions are disturbed it affects the life of these organisms certain organisms may die so a tree is an ecosystem you have an ecosystem a tree the farmer the tree has got so many fruits the tree has got so many flowers the tree has got so many birds it has got squirrels it has got caterpillars it has got ants likewise so many organisms the farmer who is owning the tree he don't want any insects on the tree because they he thinks that they cause damage to the product to the produce to the fruits so he sprayed some chemical insecticide on the tree the insects died but it causes a disturbance among the natural relationships between these biotic and abiotic components it disturbs the natural relation between the biotic components 
if the insects are destroyed there some other organisms might have depended on that insects so in this way it creates a disturbance so the disturbance in an ecosystem that means the disturbance between the relationships between the biotic and abiotic components is done by human activities that is by pollution now let us see what are these uh, components in the biotic components what are the plants animals how they are categorized there how the energy relations are built up there in an ecosystem and how the food relations are built up in this uh, ecosystem let us see